But one of the things I tell young people all the time, I'm not a very typical psychologist in this regard because psychologists like to pat people on the head and say, you're all right the way you are. I talked to Bishop Barron a while ago, I'm, I'm gonna broadcast this, and he said that the Catholic priests were trained in the 1960s to kind of be accepting, you know, humanistically. Mm -hmm. You're okay the way you are, you know. And that's such rubbish. It's like, not only are you not okay the way you are, you don't think that anybody else is okay the way they are either. And you're not, you don't think your children are okay the way they are, like you love them and all that, but you don't want them to stay three years old their entire life. You want them to expand and improve and become who they are. And it's a terrible message for them if they're desperate. You know, so let's say 10% of the people in my audience are young, maybe they're young men just for the sake of argument. And they're like not in good shape. They don't have any goals. They're, they're drinking too much. They're watching pornography all the time. They've got no aim. They've got no structure in their life. And they're just <coughs> bloody miserable. And the misery is twisting them into malevolence because enough misery will absolutely do that to you. And then what are you gonna do? And come along and say, well, you're, you're okay the way you are? It's like, that's the last thing they want to hear. It's like, get your damn act together. You know, you got things to do and they're going to be difficult. And that, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, an echoing Christian message in there, I would say, which is you pick up the weight of your suffering voluntarily and you walk uphill with it. And that not only gives you the meaning that you need in, li in your life to stop you from degenerating in a dangerous manner, but it actually makes things better.